Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Fallout Friday. So I've got something slightly different for you today, which is sort of somewhere between a mod showcase and a settlement build for you. So, as always, if you'd like to, hit that lovely red button and let's get stuck in. So, what we're looking at here is the Underground Railroad Immersive Fast Travel for Survival Mode mod by T9X69, I believe. And in short, it provides a series of manhole covers around the Commonwealth that you can discover and drop into, and they bring you out here. It's a kind of cistern sewer type thing, so partly inspired by the catacombs from the railroad. And it provides you with a player home as well, though it doesn't come with the bed or the uh, power armour. Um, so I decided uh, this place is really cool. It's kind of uh, got to be turned into a type of bat cave. So that's what I've done. Let's have a look at what I've done with the place then, shall we? So we'll have a quick run round so you can have a look at the lighting first off. So I've tried to keep it fairly minimal so you can still see what's going on, but uh, also nice and atmospheric as well. Although the uh, base level of lighting is very cool, but you can't see a damn thing. So it's still dingy as heck like this, but I'm pretty happy with the atmosphere of it. It's got the kind of hidden layer thing going on that I wanted to uh, make of this. So in slightly more detail. Those of you who are familiar with Batman in particular will probably know that the Batcave tends to be on various levels, so I also can't really do that in here. I put different bits of flooring down and slightly raised up certain areas, which also helps to kind of separate them out a little bit. So these little floor pallets are um, in the Unlock Settlement Objects mod, which is where you find most of uh, the obscure things I've put in here, and most of the other builds too. And as you see, we've just positioned them in, you use the uh, Select all on the pillar to put some stairs around the edge, tidy it up a little bit. And dropped a few bits and pieces on the top there to get the area going. Those uh, neon signs, by the way, though you could see them on the mod page, they're not actually uh, in the build. So I thought I'd add them in because they're a good idea and it's kind of hard to tell where each of the tunnels go. So as soon as I was able to work it out and I've had the mod for a little while, I'll go with that. A uh, little power armor collection in the corner. It's basically for display, as uh, the character hasn't actually got so far along as collecting much of the way of power armor yet. But, as it's for appearances, I'll just keep that there. This little area is kind of his uh, bedroom cooking area. It's also where he's got a, a desk, as you can see. It's kind of a uh, place where he's coordinating his search for Sean, collecting any information he finds and clues and that sort of thing, and bringing them back here. This wall piece I intended to be a kind of uh, whiteboard sort of motorboard to pin on uh, any notes he might wish to put up, which obviously I can't actually do, but we can give him somewhere to uh, do that with, even if I can't do it myself. Uh, a little bit of a OC decoration going on there as well. With the cooking station, as you may have noticed, it's sunk slightly back into the wall as you can see what the pipes on the back of it. But I don't really like the way it just sticks out from the wall with those on there, so... Right on the edge of the rug there, tuck it up close, and it looks much neater. So we've got a cooking station. Those uh, statues there are also added by Unlock Settlement Objects. They're a bit of a pain to work with, but uh, they do add to the aesthetic quite nicely, I think. The character who's saved this particular build is on is not a very nice chap. He's on survival mode, as you've probably gathered. But uh, he's the sort of do just about anything to uh, gain information to find his son and to gain revenge for what's been done to him. So he's got a, a cage there to lock up anybody who might have information and somewhere to interrogate them as well. As you can also gather, I would imagine, he's uh, joining up with the Brotherhood of Steel in his uh, hunt for his son's abductors, his wife's murderers as well. So we've got a uh, sort of strategic planning centre in the middle here, which starts off very open, just the uh, arches dividing it off, but I want to close up the corners a bit so we can do a little bit more with it. So I've simply rug glitched these half um, walls in, 
The brick texture is also added by unaccessible objects. And they've gone in quite nicely. In hindsight, they haven't all sat that neatly, as you can see. So I should probably have just used the uh, concrete pillar, moved the whole lot in and left the rugs slightly beneath the surface there. But it's easy to see these things in hindsight. So we've got a few lockers around for a bit of shelving and uh, somewhere to display various bits and pieces. Some around the Brotherhood of Steel bits and pieces of armour there as well. A few guns in the corner. So that is my player's kind of bat cave. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit those wonderful buttons and check the mod out as well. It's absolutely awesome. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find me at uh, Twitter and Facebook at slash Darth Zion Games. Thank you very much.